Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today we're going to show you a different type of gauge chart. I think this was developed by Mr. Tuft. Um, he uh, wanted to show where things are good, where they're okay, and where they're bad. Um, with banding and then you've actually got your actuals and a target so um, bullet charts are a great way to go when you're trying to um, show uh, those different ranges and where your actuals are um, compared to targets so over here on the left you'll notice we're in the green area which is where we wanted to be revenue wise we've actually exceeded our target costs were uh, in the yellow area here uh, and we have not yet uh, uh, we need to get up to the green and then over in net we're in the green but we haven't quite reached our target so you can use this in lots of different ways and let me show you how you go about making one of these all right so the first thing you need to do is you need to set up your data um, so we have three different types of metrics here uh, these could be anything uh, that you want and in those metrics you need to have a um, the bad or the you know the red area if you will uh, then we've got a middle area you don't need um, to have uh, the middle area it could go from bad to good um, and then we've got um, the green area so in revenue if we um, don't get above 10 uh, we're going to be in that bad zone um, we're going to add another three on top of that in a stacked column chart and that's going to be the yellow zone and then uh, if we get above 13 so if we get up to 14 um, or above we are going to actually uh, be in the green or good area now this target value this is going to be that little black line that you saw um, and then actual is the gray bar that's in the middle showing you where what our gauge is currently doing all right so once you have your data set up go ahead and highlight your data go up to your insert ribbon then go over to your charts and we're going to insert a stacked column chart all right, so now that you have your stacked column chart, um, you'll notice it's not quite set up the right way. We've got bad, uh, poor, good, target, and actual. Um, Excel makes a guess, and you can go to my blog and find a post on why Excel is doing this. But we want to switch the uh, row and column. So go ahead and select your chart. Go up to your design ribbon. And in your design ribbon, you'll see this button here that says switch row or column. And now we have what we're looking for. All right, so uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to change some of these colors. So you can see I've selected um, a series here. Let's select this first one. This is bad, and I've got it there as red. So we want to right-click on it, do Format Data Series. Um, and then from our Format Data Series, we are going to go ahead and choose the fill. And we're going to do a solid fill, and we're going to do this red color. Then I'll pick the next one, and you can see it's highlighted up here in green. Um, so we are going to do a solid fill and we are going to make that a bright green color and right in there is the yellow we're going to do solid and make that a yellow color all right so we now have our um, our bands set up uh, for our ranges of good bad and uh, all right so now what we need to do is we need to move this actual series to the secondary axis so what you want to do is right click on it and do format data series then when you have your data series pop up, what you want to do is just uh, click on secondary axis. Let me move it out of the way. You notice it's now covering up all of our uh, red, yellow, and greens. So what we want to do is change the gap width on this to something like, I don't know, you'll just have to play with it. Uh, let's do 250%. That's pretty small. Let's go about uh, 500 maybe. There we go. So you can actually see what it is doing. Let's also change the color of that series. I'm just going to go do a solid fill and we're going to change it to some sort of dark gray um, so you can see that on your chart. All right. So uh, now after we've done that and we've increased our gap width uh, for that series, the next thing we want to do is we want to go change um, this purple series that you see here that represents the target value. And what we want to do is we want to right click on it we want to do um, change series type all right in Excel 2013 you're gonna get this wonderful dialog box here we want to go down and we want to change the target here we want to change it from a stacked column we want to change it to a line with markers chart and so now you can see it's added that line in there with markers let's go ahead and click on OK and go back to our chart now we don't really want to have a line in there we're just going to use this for markers so you want to select the line right click on it do format data series and then we want to change um, the 
fill and line options here we want to do no line and then let's go ahead and choose the marker and we want to change our marker options to built-in and we want to change the type to I like using this little line right here and then I want to increase the size um, pretty large let's go uh, let's try um, 15 and see what that does Ah, there we go let's uh, let's make it even a little bigger let's go 25 and then we want to change the fill of this to a solid fill and we want to change it to that dark black and I also want to change the border on it I want to change the border to no line as well all right let's close our chart and see what it looks like it's looking pretty good right now um, we've got the uh, the target value there we have our actual gray bar here um, and we have our, our good area our medium area and then our great area in the red yellow and green now you'll notice that since we moved that series to the secondary axis Excel is automatically filling in our um, our, our actual min and maximum bounds we don't want to show that so we want to click on that secondary vertical axis and hit our delete key now this chart will now revert to the min and maximum bounds over on our primary axis and you can kind of see what that does so uh, we've pretty much done everything we want to do you could also uh, possibly go in and clean up this maybe you don't want good yellow and uh, red here um, if you want to take those out of your uh, legend that's always possible as well and then let's go ahead and change a few things and see why I like this chart let's uh, let's increase um, the actual on revenue up to 20 and see what it does notice that um, the thing the reason I like this over a gauge chart is you'll notice when you exceed your gauge of green you can see you've exceeded even your target value of what you thought was going to be good um, so it's uh, really helpful in that respect and uh, you can just change all of your values then uh, to anything that you like and those targets the good the bads and the indifference the red yellow and green can change as well we could increase that one up to five uh, let's go up to let's do ten um, so you can see that we've expanded our bounds here of what's good and what's bad so hopefully you liked this bullet chart um, please head over onto my blog and leave me a comment let me know if you would use a bullet chart as a gauge for your dashboards also don't forget to sign up for my YouTube channel so you're sure to get the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox thank you